God heard what I said. So now, my focus is on something else. I'm not gonna sit here and pick at this problem because it's not gonna it's not gonna go away if I continually pick at it. God, you got this. Put the healing ointment on it. Boom. Gone. Done. Done. I've had my cardiologist tell me I should be required reading in med school because of the way I present with things. He he started looking at my face. He was like, Yeah, I see. Okay, you've been back in there again. Oh, with this and this and this and it. You should be required reading in med school. Okay. If you say so. I ain't worried about it. I'm not worried about it. I remember when he told me I had damage to my heart. I didn't even know it. He said, your heart is almost 100% completely restored. Okay, when did it get damaged? I was not aware of that. Nobody told me. I've been running around here doing, living life on the regular. Nothing stopped, nothing slowed down. I didn't know. You see what I'm saying? This is what I'm talking about. This is where we're supposed to be. On that level of, what, you mean to tell, what, you mean to tell me I had a problem? I didn't even know. Like with Potiphar, when Joseph was working in Potiphar's house, before his wife fucked it over, all Potiphar knew, uh, the only thing he wanted to know was when was dinner time. Joseph had money coming in left, right, diagonal. Uh, they could It could have been somebody embezzling. Potiphar would have never known because Joseph had money rolling in. Rolling in, rolling in, rolling in, and the minute, the minute his wife messed that stuff up, Papa was like, you know what? If it wasn't for the fact, he probably would have dumped his wife and killed Joseph. <laughs> I know I would have. I'd be like, you know what? You got to go. I'd have sent her to the summer house where she'd have spent the last or spent the rest of her life. Like uh, uh like when the king got rid of uh Vashti. Oh yep, yeah, you can't ever come before me again. You got mm mm now. Yep, yeah, she'd have been banished. <laughs> so what have I'd be like, okay, here. And all of your servants are females. <laughs> your guards are females. <laughs> Get you some king corsos out there or, or some rottweilers or pit bulls or something. Everything female. Now you gotta go. You got to go. Cause you messing with my money, you messing with my name, you messing with my life. You messing up a good thing. We got a good thing going here. The only thing I had to do was just show up for dinner. I didn't need to know nothing else. I just need to know what time is dinner and what we got, what we have it. <laughs> and she messed it up. Same thing with us. That's the only thing we supposed to know. Lord. You know, and we and all we got to do is just show up and let God do the rest. We don't do that. We don't have that. We don't have that. And I fault the pulpit jockeys. The ones you've been seeing since the time you popped out the cooch. You were raised up under them. You're still going. But it's also on you. Because you have no excuse not to sit and read it. You have no excuse not to sit and listen to it. And I'm talking about the Bible. I'm not talking about the, ooh, that fire, the, 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 the pastor preached like good old man. I ain't talking about what the pastor preached. I'm talking about you spending time in that word. You spending time in that word. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. So, yeah. Anywho, once again, I came on here with one thing and God got me running my mouth for almost an hour. I don't know why. I don't know why. And I'm not even trying to figure out why. I don't even know how this thing is going to come out because I can barely see me. Yep, I can barely see me. But I do know, if you don't have to see me in order to hear me. God is talking to somebody 
whoever it is, heads up. I said it in another video, I want to say months ago, or maybe a year ago, God is talking, God is moving. There's a changing of the guards. When you get that position, don't make the mistakes that your predecessors made. Keep it about him. Spend time in his presence. Start pushing your followers to spend time in his presence. Push them and encourage them to spend time in the word of God when they're not sitting up in your church. Because it is really needed. Really, 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 really needed. You really need it. So. <sighs> Pray. Read that word of God. And let God talk to you. Give God control over you and everything about you. You won't regret it.